Well, hip and knee replacement surgery have long been considered the ailments of age. But the patients seeking replacement parts these days are getting younger and younger. John Shumway is here with the changing face of joint replacements. I'm very interested here. Yeah, and the, re the majority of replacement patients are still over 60 years old, but the technology and the materials are making it more viable for younger patients who are in pain. Sarah Jeff and Little Brooks Grimm had the idyllic life going with one exception. Sarah was living with the price of her athletic and cheerleading background, pain. I had just kind of expected it was, you know, uh, tendonitis, <laughs> part, part of just being a former athlete. She lived with it through pregnancy, but when Brooks was about four months old, she was carrying him up the stairs. And my hip completely started to give out. And at that point, I realized it was no longer about me. And I went to the doctor and they said, uh, this, you have severe arthritis and you need a hip replacement. Her immediate thought at 40, I'm too young for this. I think we across the board as hip and knee reconstruction surgeons are seeing more and more young people come to us with bad arthritis or bad pathology that, um, leads them to the need for a joint replacement. AHN hip and knee replacement specialist, Dr. Eric Yakish, was Sarah's surgeon, and he says joint pain is blind to age. It, it gets harder and harder, I think, for that individual to just enjoy getting up in the morning and getting through a day. And for Sarah, despite steroid injections and physical therapy, the breaking point came last Halloween. My son is two at this point, and I couldn't go trick or treating with them. <laughs> and that was it. So, January 11th, with Dr. Yakish on the Mako Robotic Very Precise Instruments, now 41 year old Sarah underwent robotic hip replacement surgery. You, you do it on the computer before you've done the surgery. And from there, it's just instrumenting everything. Sarah knows, and Dr. Yakish confirms, that her new joint may have to be redone in 20 to 25 years. But for Sarah, I wish I didn't wait. I wish I had done it sooner because I felt so much better after it. Now on surgery day, Sarah got to the hospital at nine o'clock. She was at home by 430 in the afternoon. Dr. Yakish says he also does the Mako surgery on knees and AHN is also doing outpatient replacement surgery on shoulders as well. So Sarah's back to normal. She feels like the way she did before she had this problem? Well, she works with special needs kids. She's a, she's a PhD doctor in Bethel Park School District. She's back at work, still does physical therapy a couple times a week to regain her strength, but the walker and the cane are gone. The pain is gone, and she's looking forward to going to Sesame Place show this weekend and walking the entire time with Jeff and Brooks. That's fantastic. I mean, it really is. It makes you realize what a difference these, this kind of technology can make. I was just going to say. But it's, but it's troubling. Younger and younger people are now yeah. doing Absolutely. this. Absolutely. Arthritis? Having to do this. You yeah. said she was 40 with arthritis? You got it. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks, John.